Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I literally could not remember last time I did any type of vlog or anything. Actually, that's a lie. I just lied. I actually have been recording vlogs, but I haven't edited any of them. So my plan of attack in the next few months is editing a vlog that I have already recorded and then putting it out for you guys. I just kind of feel like the last few months I've been in, I don't know what it is. I've just been kind of, today we're going to do a reading vlog because drum roll, it's Elsie Silver release day. And I know about you guys, but I am an Elsie Silver stan. If Elsie Silver has no fans, what like what's her thing? I can't remember. Anyway, you guys get the gist, okay? I love Elsie Silver. She's an auto buy author for me. As you can see, I am a very big book girly. Wild Eyes comes out today, and I'm so excited to read it because I feel like Wes is gonna be one of my favorite MMCs. I don't know, he kind of gives like on retriever type of vibes to me, and I eat that up in a book like I love it when men are like that and obviously this one he's dating someone that is not from his town but now we're gonna go into the shops it is nearly nearly nine o'clock it's 8 50 I'm just really crossing my fingers that they're actually gonna have the book because I don't really want to get on Kindle and in a book form here's hoping that by some miracle it's in here today the sun is literally so bright I'm not complaining about that I want all the sun in the world it's literally been raining for like weeks straight it's been chaotic winds flooding everywhere. If you don't already know, I live in Hobart, Tasmania. It's so stunning here. We just had this like major cold snap from the amount of like rain and wind that we had. It was actually quite scary and intense. And a lot of places right now are quite flooded. So the fact that the sun is out today, I think is a welcome change for everybody because obviously no more rain. I am so ready for it to be summer already. And I know it's only just hit spring. It is officially the 3rd of September today. I know that that we have at least another two months away before it does actually start getting warm but I'm, I'm just ready now and other parts of Australia are getting warm and seeing that gives me major FOMO if I'm being honest no book there I checked literally every store in that shopping center none of them had it and then I asked when they're gonna probably get the book in just out of curiosity and they said probably not until a couple of days after the release date because of how bad the weather has been all the shipments and stuff have been completely delayed which honestly makes a lot of sense because a lot of the packages that were meant to arrive in the last few days haven't been able to get to me so mm, unfortunately we're probably gonna be reading on the Kindle until I can get the physical copy which is fine like I'm still very grateful that I can still read the book now so I'll go home and we'll get the, the Kindle copy. I did get a couple of things while I was in there. I eyed these off the other day. They're in cotton on and they look literally so comfy and I love the color green. Just like these like comfy tracky type pants. And um, yeah, I eyed them off the other day, but I wasn't really sure. And the weather has just been so crap. So I thought, you know what? Those are actually going to be perfect. And I got these from Kmart because I wanted some like this and they had them at cotton on, but I really like the stripes. So there's stripe shorts. I'm not going to be able to wear these for a little bit longer because it's still cold here but as soon as it is over 20 degrees you best believe I will be wearing these so I got those then I also got this clear case for my phone a current I have this really cute like little butterfly case and I love it so much but I don't want to change it up a little bit I like being able to like change my cases I had this really good idea of getting like a clear case and then putting one of my little Polaroid photos of my partner and I in the case <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head to the gym now. I literally just had my Kindle on charge because I realized it was on like 19% and I was like, no, I'll go to the gym and then it will go flat. So currently have it on charge, but we're gonna go to the gym. Oh wait, I have to show you guys. I did end up doing my phone case. Look how cute that looks. Nathan and I on our birthday and then a little sticker that says book girly. Putting my phone back on charge. I love it. I think it looks so freaking cute. And also one thing about me is I always wear the books with Jess. Hang on. I actually have a card here. I have another thing coming from Jess in, uh, it might be here this week or next week. I'm not sure. I have like a cute, like pink. It's not a hoodie. It's like a crew neck kind of jumper. Ordered another jumper from her. I think it says like cheers to more chapters or like maybe book club. I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was, but it was really, really pink. Like 
what? It was a really cute pink color. And this one is also from Books with Jess. So this is where I order all my merch from in Australia, like book merch. I'm going to read Wild Eyes and I'm on the treadmill. We're gonna do legs today. I'm not gonna lie, really not filling up for it, which is why we have, don't judge me. <coughs> Don't judge me, that's my pre-workout. So I'm gonna have that, we're gonna go to the gym. Do you need a banana actually? I always have a banana as well because it gets like straight into my system energy that I need. So packed a banana, we're packing our Kindle, got all the things that I need. The change after the gym, back into the clothes I was wearing before. Actually I better go because it's 12.30 and I'm trying to be at school pickup which is this literally the epitome of my life. I'm also pretty sure that my one of my last like book parcels is also coming today, but I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna read some of my book while I'm on the treadmill because I'm gonna make time somehow. And that's usually how I make the time is I bring my Kindle with me. have the car blankie out we have the car blankie on we've got the gym done we've changed back in bookland again and i tell you what i already know that i am going to love west i already know that i'm gonna mm, i just i just already know it's very funny the thing is elsie silver writes banter so incredibly well like i literally giggle every time i read an elsie silver book I just had a shower and I am up to page 112 and tell me why every time at MMC in a book literally says yes ma'am I die a little inside because and I mean in a good way because why is that so attractive no because if someone said that to me I'd be like you know what I mean I feel like the chemistry in this one so far is different to the first one which I don't mind that I don't know if I'm feeling it as strong as I did with the first book in this series but in saying that I'm not even halfway through yet I can definitely build the banter there the banter is chef's kiss. I've giggled many times already. It's not that I'm not feeling the chemistry. I don't know what it is. There's something slightly missing there. As I said, I'm not halfway through yet and that's just my honest opinion. It is nearly nine o'clock in the morning. My little update on Wild Eyes. I am a hundred and about 150 pages in. I'm about like 30 something percent into the book. I'm still enjoying it. It's so hard because I just am so, if I'm being honest, I'm so tired. I was just reflecting this morning on the way back from school drop off and I was like, I actually think I'm I actually think I've hit burnout at this part of my life. I haven't actually been this burnt out probably since I would say autumn. And I think it's a collective thing of the fact that I've been like unwell like I was sick for my birthday a few weeks ago and or not even a few weeks ago like a week and a half ago I was sick and I think I'm still recovering from that and I jumped back into work pretty quickly and I think that's burnt me out and the weather is literally just so off and on the fact that we haven't really had much sunshine just let me have a moment okay guys I need to have this little moment apologies for like sounding a bit whiny but I just am so burnt out and usually I would have been about halfway through this book already and I'm enjoying it but I feel like I'm struggling to be super present in the book at the moment so I'm hoping today I'll be a little bit more present I think it's, I'm the problem <laughs> at the moment mm, I think it was last week actually I felt like I was going into a reading slump and I was like no 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 I don't want to go a reading slump so then I read one of the ice planet barbarian books from that series and it definitely helped a little bit because that series is like so unserious if you're ever in a reading slump i highly recommend reading that if you don't like smart maybe don't read that because it's pretty smutty but it's just a funsy read right it's you're reading it knowing like this is actually ridiculous but it's like so good anyway so i read that and i was excited because i was like yes that will kind of get me out of the reading slump and then you know i'll be fine for this book and it did but at the same time i'm just really tired so i've got to try and muster up some energy today also i just think i need to look at my day today and ask myself like what can wait until tomorrow and what can be done today we're back in the reading room again and we are going to get comfy cozy for at least at least the next one and a half to two hours. I will not be moving from here unless I have to go to the toilet or get a drink because it is reading time. I'm done with work for the day. It is 12 o'clock. So I do have a few hours up my sleeve. I have to go get the kids from school and then do all the after school activities. So let's see how much we can smash out in that time frame. 
I'm now just waiting, school pickup time yet again. I managed to get to, let's see the page count, 210. So I read about 60 pages, uh, which I kind of wanted to read 100, but that's fine. I'm not feeling it in this book. Like, why am I just, is, am I the problem? Like, am I the problem? Is it me? I'm just not, I don't, I don't know if I'm enjoying this book as much. I feel like I can put it down and scroll on my phone. And that's when I know I'm not, like, it's not a five-star read for me already off the bat. If I'm not engrossed in it. I don't know. It just kind of feels like there's a lot going on. And some of the stuff that's going on, I'm like, oh, that's cute. And then the other stuff that's going on, I'm like, yeah, that makes no sense. But anyway, I still stand by the fact that I don't think there's a lot of chemistry here, but there is great banter. I'm hoping that changes. But anyway, that's my little update. I feel bad saying that, but I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be one of those people who says they like every single book. I'm not going to be that person because well, first of all, everyone's book taste is different. No one's is going to be the exact same. It's like mm. the B and A sort of thing. It's 6am in the morning and we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish the book because I've been so tired. I've been so tired. I've been going to bed early. <sighs> I'm in the literal first of my cycle if you can't already tell. Anyway, we're gonna finish the end. If you can hear that, it's extra windy outside right now, but that's fine. We're gonna work with it. That's why I'm wearing a cap today. Let's talk about it. I just finished Wild Eyes. Well, actually, I didn't just finish it. Actually, I'm gonna take this cardigan off because I'm actually kinda hot today. Even though, oh, even though it's literally gonna be so windy outside. Anyway, let's get into my thoughts of Wild Eyes. I just shut that so it's not noisy. So I would say my rating of this book is 3.75 stars. That's not to say I didn't enjoy the book. I did. I just don't think it's my favorite from Elsie Silver. Reading is subjective and I think everyone's entitled to have different tastes. I just kind of felt like some bits felt unnecessary or it felt like maybe it should have been a bit later on in the book. Some of the tropes I didn't really like. Um, for instance, I didn't really like the jealousy part. I don't know what you're thinking. That's not real life, but that's why I'm reading books because it's not meant to be real life. Now I'm about to get to the good parts. I ate up one particular smart scene like it was my last meal because I'm telling you the fact that he's like spit on it. Yes, absolutely yes. And when he said yes ma'am, yes ma'am, you got me there. You got me there, Elsie Silver. Every time you do that, I eat that up. I love it. And also when they say, that's my girl. And he said that multiple times. And I loved that, right? I was seeing those words and thinking, yes. Just didn't feel the chemistry between the two of them. I think the banter was fantastic though. And I will stand by that. Elsie Silver writes amazing banter. These are just my opinions. But that's just how I feel. Let me know your thoughts below on what you thought of the book. I love to hear your opinions. Especially over an author that I absolutely adore and love. And I will say that Elsie Silver will continue to be an auto by author for me. I love her writing. I love the worlds that she creates. I loved the kids in Wild Eyes. I thought they were so cute. I'm gonna go get the physical copy probably this morning. I'm hoping, I've, I've given it two days now, so I'm hoping it will be there. So we're gonna go do that this morning. Let's hope that the physical copy is there because I really wanna put it on my shelf. And I do love the orange color and the orange Skittles and like her love of orange kind of really connected with like the book cover and even like Rosie's book with like the pink and like her love for pink. I think that's really cute that she's doing that and I am eating that up. And I'm also noticing, actually this is another observation. Where is that hair? Okay, got it. I am noticing another observation. So I think, I can't remember in Gold Rush Ranch because I actually read that at the end of last year and early the start of this year. Is that correct? Yes, I, I've read that entire series, but I can't quite remember. Chestnut Springs I know was text. Like they would send text to each other and it kind of felt like you were in on this like little secret between the characters. And I think that's why that series was so good because it kind of created this like depth with the characters. It felt like you were in on their like, storylines and their thoughts outside of the actual plot. And I love that about Elsie. And this series, I like how I'm pointing here like I have the book on my shelf. This series here, I am noticing she's doing that again, but she's doing it with emails this time. I don't know if you guys noticed that, because Ford and Rosie did that too. 
All right, we're back in the car. I went to the shops. Tell me why they still don't have, they don't have Daydream. That did just get released yesterday though, but they don't have that in stock. And they also do not have the new Elsie Silver book. So I guess we're going to have to wait until next week. Um, or either the weekend or something. I don't know. I don't know when they're going to get it in stock. I know that like in Tassie, we we're always like at least a couple of days later just because of the fact that like I live on an island. I don't think it's ever been this late. Anyway, it's fine. I've already read the book, so it doesn't really matter. So in the meantime, I did get myself a donut. That looks delicious. I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go home and get some work done. And thank you so much for spending time with me. I definitely plan on uploading a lot more vlogs. As I said, I think I said at the start of this, I actually have vlogs recorded. I just need to sit down and edit them. I just haven't had a whole lot of motivation to do that. Editing's the worst part about making long form content. I just find it really tedious, but I did record them and I want to show you guys anyway. So I'm going to do that. So that's my day again. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will chat with you guys soon. Bye.